Hey, buddies, welcome to my Twitch VOD. All right, so where we left off, we were having some sound issues. The first episode won't have any sound. I have since corrected that. It's not a problem anymore, I think. Anyway, get another Great Prophet. There are no more Great Prophets, I'm afraid. They are all gone. We did not get a religion. We invested heavily in a religion. So we're going to go ahead and try and go for the Oracle, just to try and make the game interesting for ourselves, give ourselves a little bit of a handicap. Of course there's more just crap spawning on my face. Uh, you know. Of course there is. I want you to attack there, then I want to bait that, war that warrior into attacking you. He'll get a heal and then he can attack. And that should work out pretty well for me. So let's go ahead and grab masonry. Because this will allow me to harvest stone if I so need to. There's Polandia. Nice to meet you, Poland. I don't even know where they met me. Poland is blue now for some reason. Okay. Uh, send a delegation. There you go. Not sure if I like the whole blue Poland thing. There we go. This is what I was hoping for. And then I can just step back. Take the ranger promotion. Swing out this way. It never rains, chat. It never rains. It always pours. I'm going to get you to heal up just a little scooch here. Yeah, I'm worried about this noise. She's not moving those troops. And I'm worried about moving this guy too far away when I've got France on my border. But if I trade with France... I'm getting food and gold and faith. Wait, why am I getting food? What district gives me food when I trade with them? I don't think districts give food from international trade routes. Is there some mod? Did some mod activate? No. Well, all right then. I'll take that plus one food, plus three gold, and plus one faith. It's fine. That's our main political party color. WTF. And then we're going to get to work on a settler here in St. John. Let us prioritize production. You don't need to worry about growth in here. You're going to heal up. And we'll go ahead and explore over here and we'll continue on. It's gonna be this is gonna be a rough as hell game, guys. This is gonna be one of the hardest games that I've ever, ever tried to win. We're spawning on Tundra. As Canada, we didn't get a religion, and we're trying to build the Oracle. We have two cities on turn 50. This is going to be an absolutely brutal game. And I do it all for you guys. What resources, features are worth harvesting and chopping, and is what is worth improving with an improvement? Pretty much everything is worth harvesting in the right circumstances. I want to go to there. I'm going to attack and then heal. This is going to be probably the most brutal game I've ever played. I gotta, I gotta say, just based on my first impressions here, it's going to be a tough game. Okay, we killed there. You're going to attack, then you're going to heal, and then you're going to attack. We're going to choose science here. We're going to pick up pottery. Might be good to pick up sailing at some point soon. You are going to promote to battle cry. You're going to heal for a turn. Maybe not heal beside the volcano is a good move. The warrior comes out of the fog. I want to stand here. I wanted to take the river penalty for attacking me. Have you ever been able to get a diplomatic victory yet? Good sir. I always end up having to end the game on science or culture before I'm able to get enough favor. King Salomon. Just subscribe to Twitch Prime. Thank you so much, King Salomon. I have not yet been able to get a culture, uh, a, a <clears throat> diplomatic victory. I've always had to like divert to a new victory type. I think it's a pretty uh, difficult one to win, um, just because you tend to just win a different victory um, on the way. So I've almost got this kill. We're getting close to the Oracle. We have a settler coming out here. It's going to take twelve more turns. She has chariots. 
I'll take that battle cry promotion. There's a barber camp somewhere here that we need to find. I'm gonna just take a moment to heal up inside my borders here. This should be a kill. We killed another one of these, a little bit of error score. I thought Clay must feel happy. And there it is. Let's go ahead and grab riding. We could place our second district in here. I really need another builder because I want to chop this. And I think I will chop. I might wait for Magnus though, because I want to chop this to put a theater square there. So we'll purchase that builder. We'll pull you back. Somebody's getting killed. So there's the government plaza. This could actually be a faith district here. I'm not too worried about science. We're going to invest a few turns into drama and poetry. We're going to grab Magnus. We're going to appoint him in the capital, like so. We're going to go here. We're going to go here. All right. <clears throat> Is he back? I don't see anything. Refresh the stream. Somebody tell that man to refresh the stream. I don't need this pin anymore. So we're going to attack here. This is going to be a rough as hell game, guys. You're waiting for Magnus to be established. You're coming into my borders to heal. You're killing. You're killing. Okay. Pretty sad about not getting the um, Tundra Pantheon, but that's what I get. That's what I get. I'm going to pick up sailing so that I might have the option to improve these whales and sell them soon. I want to wait for this Magnus chop, try and get this city to finish that wonder just that little bit sooner, especially since I plan to put a district there anyway. Should you chop a resource before play, placing a district on it since it would remove the feature? If you have the opportunity, but sometimes it's not worth doing. Uh, so yes, the answer is yes. With proper planning and forethought, you can do it pretty consistently, but it's not always an option. Like for here, we'll see 38 production. That will become something like 59 or something. 57. I'm going to chop. That will just about finish this. We'll be very close. Three turns. Then you're going to come up here and improve that whales. Might get some exploration over here to the west or east soon. Nice tribal village. Let's get you to heal up. We've almost got a settler. Don't you dare, Poland! Poland! I don't even have enough diplomatic favor to tell them to go fuck themselves. <laughs> Plus one new population. Not terrible. We could use pop in the city. Um, so we're working pretty terrible tiles, but that's Canada for you boys. France has unsurprisingly settled over here. Vessels large may venture more. Is the galley. They have converted my cities. Mainly I don't want their religions just because I'm angry that I didn't get my own religion. Lots of snow for us to play in though. That's gonna be fun. Does that go all the way down to the edge of the map? Oh wow. I haven't seen that before. Okay, so next move is getting access to currency so we can make that as an optional choice we go for. There's La Rochelle. She has a big and scary army. But we did get the Oracle. The form of a dolphin. Pray to me as a... So we really have to ask ourselves the question, is it still worth it to build holy sites with no religion? And the answer is yes, because faith generation is really important to late game tourism generation and thus... Uh, our game plan in general.
So I want to get both. I want to get the theater square up early. So I've got seven turns essentially that I could do something. And that's going to be a settler. And then I'm going to promote Magnus with the provision so that this does not take a population because that's actually really important in my current game position. Uh, the Oracle provides plus two great person points of their type. For example, great rider points from the theater square district. Uh, it used to be double, I think. Ooh, hiccups. Okay. Do I have the ability to request open borders? Yes, I do. Let me talk to France. France, how would you like to do mutual open borders where you pay me a little bit of gold? Deal. There we go. That might improve our relationship a little bit to neutral. So she doesn't hate my guts. Don't settle here. Do I have to declare... I can't declare a surprise war on her. That is annoying, but there is nothing I can do about it. I'm just going to have to deal with it. Swap these. Ideally, you go in the water and improve that. I want to place the encampment here, but I have to wait for the builder to chop it because I need to be as efficient as possible. So I'm going to do something else first. I could use another builder. Ideally to get a couple of mines up for this city. Um, I could also use with a holy site right there. Uh, let's see, this city definitely needs a granary. So let's grab that. You're going to make your way back up now because I'm getting a little bit scared of things. The good news is most wars won't be a surprise, right? They're going to denounce me first. Yeah, I, I love that. I love it. I love it when people say, oh my God, streamer luck. Have you watched my games? Has Like, do people watch my games and then claim I get streamer luck? I get like literal ass luck, okay? I get, I get absolutely dog shit luck. Maybe that's a little bit strong of a word to use there. I get dog doo doo luck, okay? Ugh. I think the move here is to settle on the silk, although this is literally the best tile in the vicinity of all of this. I think I settle on this coast tile to secure it from flooding. This can be a national park. Let's make sure we place a tack here, just so we remember. Where the hell is the National Park symbol? There's all these things. There it is. National Park symbol goes here. So if I settle there, I can get this inside. And then this could be a National Park as well. When the hell does the Mountie unlock, actually? Does anyone know? Probably around here, right? Somewhere along here. Plastics. That is really late in the game. This might have to be a campus. We could put the holy site there. Floor is being sarcastic. So did I say a smart thing? Yeah, I've known Floor for a while now. I'm going to settle over here. That was Spec Ops? Am I blind? Did I... Oh, that was Spec Ops. It has the same kind of hat. See, it's kind of a similar-ish hat. Where does it... Where does it even lock? Is it at conservation? Oh, yeah, there it is. There she blows! God, I wish I could declare surprise wars and steal that settler and then get steamrolled by France and get started a new game. I mean, what? Granary in 10 turns. Is that as important as a settler? Kind of is. So I'm going to chop here. Mr. Mayon, subscribe with Twitch Prime. Thank you so much, Mr. Mayon. We're going to chop here to finish this. Just that little bit quicker. We're going to place an encampment here because it's an obstacle towards France declaring war on me. 
And that means I don't have to worry about over here. Can't wait for the inevitable blizzard. Oh, me neither, dude. I just can't wait for that blizzard to roll over me and make me want to start a new game. Um, all right, let's continue on here. We're playing with some brutal, brutal conditions. Please settle right there. Are you trying to settle here? We boxed him in. I think he might be trying to settle right there. Hey. See if we can box that settler in. Buy myself some time. Hey, we, t we took the spot they wanted to go to. That's fantastic. That's going to delay their settler. Haha, -ha, AI. I have broken you. We're going to settle here. There's actually a good national park right there. So this city is actually my strongest city right now. <laughs> and it's one turn old. Uh, right, so we're going to need a lot in here. We're going to want a quarry right there. Eventually that's going to want to be replaced. But for now we want a quarry right there. Because that will uh, generate faith for me. Who the hell is, is... Is is Russia in this game? I swear to God, Russia is in this f***ing game. I I hate it. I hate doing a culture victory against Russia, dude. Because he just gets so much generation early in the game. Do you sacrifice a hill for a good campus? Yes, 100% of the time. A good campus is worth way more than a good hill. That depends. If your city doesn't have a lot of hills. The city is literally made of hills. It just has nothing but hills. Um... Okay. All right. Okay, we got the granary in here. I think we just go for more settlers. It's our best move. Take us a very long time to get it, but we just need more. This city needs so much stuff. It needs everything. But it has some pretty decent tasks. If I go for a builder first, I can improve this quarry. Then I can improve this. I could swing back. I don't know why I went all the way up here. Pick up irrigation. So... Builder first, then granary, and then the city might be useful. Just keep blocking that settler for now. Okay, let's get you out of here. Yeah, I, I was really considering when I started this game to try and just handpick the save so that Russia wouldn't be in the game. Because I know Russia would be like the... I knew, as I was setting the game up, that Russia would be the biggest pain in my ass. Um, here he is. It's turn 76, and he's already the biggest pain in my ass in the game. So now we need to really fast get this theater square up. But I'm going to finish the settler first. Um, and we're going to pick a political philosophy. So it looks like the AI couldn't reach the target of designation. It looks like they've made a new decision about where they want to go. So they probably might settle right there. So it looks like, it looks like what I had hoped, the AI is going to try and settle somewhere else first. That's really, really good for me. That means I can settle a little bit more aggressively over here. I don't want to settle right beside the volcano. Do I want to settle right beside the volcano? There's some advantages to settling beside a volcano. But the negative loyalty here is deal withable. Leaves plenty of room for national parks. It's on a river. I could settle on the silk. That appeals to me a little bit more. Settling on the silk. I want to use these mountains in a national park, which means I can't improve this diamonds. I'm going to have to improve the diamonds because it's a luxury. Trade route. I could send this to Montreal. And trade with... Send this to Montreal because Montreal is my best city right now. Has the best potential. Just gonna get these guys to hang out. I can move my scout now. The 
This is like kind of is really bad. Let's turn 80 and we've only settled three cities. That's real. That's a real bad start, boys. It doesn't help that I don't have the settler card locked in. I completely forgot to swap this. I thought I'd swapped it like multiple times. That's actually a big, 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 big boo-boo. We've made some pretty big mistakes this game. Uh, I'd say it's a combination of making a few mistakes and having really bad luck. So I want to go block this tile to try and prevent um, any more settlers coming in from this direction. So I think if we trade with Ottawa, we'd get the production. If I trade with St. John, it would get me a better road. We're going to trade with Ottawa to grow this city just that little bit quicker. And it'll get our builder that little bit quicker too. You take a turn to heal. Just map tax. I downloaded it. Uh, is the pin mod map tax plus the one that requires those other mods? Uh, I just take map tax without the plus. Yes, correct. That's the one I take. Can you build national parks at the volcano slightly higher if you settle the silk? I could put a national park here. That is true. It is true. Um, I kind of need these river tiles for. Uh, Lumber mills, though. In the late game. It's going to be where all of our production comes. Holy shit, France is an absolutely gargantuan army, and I'm terrified that she's going to just like, hmm, maybe Canada needs to die. And if she makes that decision, it's real bad for us. So I think we're going to settle here. Now we need to immediately get the theater square up. The good news is we do have Catholicism, which does have the uh, meeting house, which gives you production. So that's going to be helpful. It's a way to turn faith into production, although it requires a pretty hefty investment of production to get of production and faith to get there. But, you know, this is going to be a tough game. This is going to be a tough game. What do you think of natural disasters? Very I was playing for, and then I would like to move them off more severe. I'm Recording a Coupe Deity playthrough as Eleanor's France and Russia are in it, and the culture fight is real. Yep. There's Sweden. I'm actually kind of glad Sweden's in the game because she has her um, things that she puts into the Congress is really fun to play with when you're going for a culture victory, in my opinion. What are your troops doing here? I'm hoping that France does not see me as a target. What do you mean I have so few troops? Why don't you bully me? I'm a little scared about this. Let's keep exploring. You go there. Theater squares on the way. Settle right here. Block that mountain pass so no settlers can come through here. Buy us a little bit of time. Slow down France slightly. Tilburg? That's not a French city. All right, we've got you. Let's get a friendship with Sweden. No, she hates Catherine de Medici. And I don't want to upset France, so I'm not going to take the friendship there. Need to keep... Catherine on my side. I'm not going to send a delegation there because every piece of gold is absolutely horrifyingly precious to me right now. We're going to settle on this even though it's a decent tile. I'm really tempted to work on walls. It will take 25 turns. If France decides to declare war on me at any point, building walls in 25 turns isn't going to help. And then by the time the walls come out, she's going to have units that can just completely annihilate the walls. So I don't think walls here are going to make any help to my empire at all. And I think there will be a national park going right here. Um, thinking of getting a builder in here, there's not really much I can do with it except for maybe a mine there and make this into like a forested tundra hill. Uh, it's a really rough start starting on tundra. Buying the diamonds tile would pay itself out quickly. Well, let's do the calculation on that one. We could buy the diamonds tile for 35 gold. It is half price, so it would pay itself off in about 12 turns. That is actually a really good point, whoever said that in chat. And it was 
Jal Kelly. That's a good point. Good catch there, buddy. What do I even get here to 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 recover from this? This is just ugh. I feel like rushing a theater square is a good move here. National Park here, National Park here. Yeah, 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 yeah. These are things that I like. I like these things. So what is what is our long-term thing here? I should at least place this. The entertainment complex is going here. I need to think about that too. That's something I haven't considered. Where my entertainment complex is because I'm going to want them pretty much everywhere. And then if my entertainment comp complex is going here, well then this is going to want to be a hockey ring. Or here. This is going to want to be a hockey ring. Alternatively... If I'm reading how this works... Plus four culture would be a lot, right? If I'm reading how this works, I could build like it here and then have three cities share. So if I were to put an entertainment complex over here, then I could have like, this would be Ottawa's ice ring. Where the hell is the ice ring? I know it's in here somewhere, damn it. Is it not in here? Am I blind? Oh, there it is. I'm blind. So if I, put, I could put like hockey rings around it. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? Have these tiles belong to different cities or whatever? I like this plan a lot. Oh, we could slowly build a theater square. I think I really need stuff like granaries and monuments. So I think I'm going to slot down... the theater square here but we're gonna work on a grrr. I could spend an extra 15 production to get a more productive city and I think I will make that sacrifice the housing is growth isn't my problem in here I need the production the, and plus one production might not seem like much but look at these tiles they're awful Russia Theatre Square, 51 turns. Yep, that is the situation that we are in right now, guys. Um, it is unfortunate, but it is what we are dealing with. Is this city, this city is freshly conquered. There's Machu Picchu over there. The man who has grit enough to bring about the All right. So we'll be able to improve this. Uh, da, 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 da. We just have no production. I need Pingala. Pingala, Pingala, holla at me. Already, already, three great writers gone. This is why I hate playing against Russia, dude. Before I even have a theater square finished, there's three great writers gone. We're already into, uh, well, classical era, great writers, whatever. But you know what I mean, man? It's just like, I don't think I've seen this one. Three culture plus one production. Cool. Buy the watermill. We need our gold uh, to purchase other things. We could buy the watermill in the not too distant future but I'm just gonna slowly build it so this is these are all basically crap to me this is at least one era score guaranteed from building the theater square has captured Tilburg I don't even have enough to put this in this proposal in all right whatever
Yeah, I'm not a party to the emergency, which is kind of weird. Politics is the art of the possible. So political philosophy. So normally I would go for classical republic. However, only one of my cities has a um, district. So here, the pretty clear winner here is autocracy because this just gives me so much compared to the other ones. So what we're going to do, slot in the plus one production to all things. And put in extra production towards uh, these units. That plus one production has literally shaved 10 turns off this watermill, by the way. It shaved 20 turns off of the uh, theater square. We're going to pick up theology. We do want to build walls eventually, but not right now. We probably want to pick up defensive tactics first. I'll have you park here, make that city look a little bit harder to take. Ottawa has stagnated forever. Yep, that's fine. It's okay for it to stagnate. I'm going to vote for myself, of course. Uh, city center, yes, please. Oh god, this actually might help me a lot. Because I plan on building a lot of city center buildings. Awesome, and somehow I picked myself and I won. Nice. So my district's now Culture Bomb. Cool. So I wanted to save up for the amphitheater, but then I remembered it was really, really expensive. I could get the granary. Um, the current food surplus in here is enough to where the city could grow in a pretty long time. I need the amphitheater. I also need to build settlers. I could purchase a water mill. I definitely want to get... I think of the places I want to purchase a water mill, my capital is the place. So we're going to go ahead... Although the granary... It's hard to decide. We're going to go for the amphitheater. Spend two turns on the granary. It's, it's so much production. It's worth it to do this. Because we're getting double production for these things. It's now 11 turns. We need to take advantage of that while it's in um, in effect. Even if it means we lose out in other areas. So now we should be getting three Great Rider points per turn. Um, so in order to have a chance against Russia... So you, you want me to switch to the plus two great rider points per turn, okay? So, let's talk about why this is not helpful. Um, won't help me at all. Uh, the only way I'm going to compete with Russia on great riders is building a lot of theater squares. It's just having a bunch of theater squares. That's the only way I'm going to compete. Uh, so you want me to swap out a 50% production boost towards settlers that I'm building, that is uh, currently providing me in this city, um, 7.5, say, multiplied by 0.5, so call it 8. This is giving me about 4 production in this city. You want me to trade out 4 production for plus 2 great riders. Right now, that's not going to help me get a great rider. The only time you ever slot in the cards that are related to the great people points is when you have a very, very low... King Archilius just subscribed. Thank you very much, King Archilius. Is when you have a very, very low generation amount of great people points, and the other people also have a very, very low generation amount of great people points, and you can get a great person by plugging this card in a significant number of turns sooner. This, none of these things are true for plugging in the great rider points per turn. I like the thought. It's a, it's, it's not a bad idea, but it's, uh, it's not a bad idea, but it is a bad. It's bad in practice. It's a, it's a good idea, but what I need to be doing is just getting out as many of these city center buildings to try to make up for the fact this is actually a really good World Congress that's going to help me make up. I am going to put a point into Mexico City. How did I not meet them yet? But putting one point in with these guys is going to give me another plus two production in my capital, which will mean I'll be able to build more buildings in here a little bit quicker. My capital is going to be more useful more quickly. 
So I want to try to talk to Poland and see if they will give me open borders. I want to try to start improving my relationship with all of the AI. In fact, uh, no, I don't want to join your ongoing war. You will pay me a very small amount of gold. I'm going to talk to you. I'm going to make a deal. I want to get open borders with you. You will demand money from me. I'll pay the 10 gold just because I want that. And then I'll talk to Sweden. And I want to be friends with Sweden, but she hates uh, France. And I don't want to be a target of France's anger. Um, and plus, we plan on building more settlers, so we want to have that card plugged in. It could be, it's worth it to plug those cards in for a short period of time if you don't need other cards, but more often than not, I just forget, so I just, like, leave them in. Oh my god. Okay, there's archery. We want to improve this quarry. This will give me plus one production and plus two faith. City is now stronger. Um, I was going to purchase the watermelon here, but now I can build it really, really quickly. So we're just going to build it really, 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 really quickly. Um, so yeah. In terms of technology, we have some really tough choices to make. More settlers equals more theater squares equals more great reddit points. That's why I go wide. The, yeah, exactly. That's the exact logic. Um, okay. We are in a tough spot we do have some mines we could go for apprenticeship it's a lot of turns let's pick up iron working it doesn't really help us win anything um let's just unlock harbors as an option because i might want to harbor in this city at some point maybe maybe in this city as well we'll see about that probably not going to build many harbors this game there's turn off So now we want to improve this. Go to the next turn. Want to hold on to that envoy point until we find a city state worth. And like, think of it also, we didn't find a single city state, even though we're like this, we literally started like over here or something, right? We started right here and we're this far away from Mexico and we didn't find them until now. It's a pretty painful uh, start. As a water mill, do we want to build a monument? It's again only two turns. It's worth it to get the production out. Okay, in terms of districts over here, I really want to build a holy site. This is going to get flooded really early, but the sooner I get this up, is there other things I could build in here? I could put a theater square right here. Eventually this would become a government plaza. In fact, I think I'm going to build a government plaza in this city of all cities. Because I just need it up as soon as possible. And I'm going to swap this back to my capital so that I can do a chop. Because there will be a district going here. This district right there. So we're going to have a bunch of theater squares around our... Um, Around our thing. Around our government plaza to try to make use out of that. Is it worth it delaying this and going for something else? No. Just go with what you're doing. So we're getting three great rider points per turn. It's not awful. It's just a really, really rough game that we have to carefully navigate around. You're doubling down on faith without a religion. You just plan on buying a bunch of stuff with faith. Late game. Uh... Culture generation comes from rock bands which require faith to purchase. Very simple. That's why we need faith. We don't need to start generating. We don't need to gener start generating faith right now. I'm gonna just refuse all the deals because it takes too much mental energy right now. When I'm trying to really think about what my next moves are, I suppose I could take my time and just pick and choose carefully, but I don't want to have to deal with that shit. Okay. So, settling efficiently. I think when you're going in Tundra, it makes a little bit more sense to settle a little bit wider because your cities are not going to be productive enough to justify... Uh, uh, sorry, a little bit uh, taller because your cities are not going to be productive enough to justify wide. 
um, because the the terrain quality is just so low that it basically demands that I play a little bit taller. So I'm going to try to space out my cities a little bit, like if I settle right here, it opens up. Okay, let's think about this. Our late game production is going to come from lumber mills on rivers, so we want to settle near the rivers, but we also need to be keeping in mind that we want to be placing down national parks. There's a really good national park here on these two tiles. We're going to be getting as many of these as we can. It's going to be one of the biggest sources of tourism for us, is national parks. So basically what I'm doing is just marking out tiles that I want to have national parks so they don't place, place districts on them. Um, if I settle here, there could be another national park here. And you would still be in range to place a hockey ring over here on this stadium. You need a tile. You need a tile to place a hockey ring. The pre-digger just subscribed. Thank you. Or the pre the pre-digger just subscribed. The way that's spelled makes me think it's the the pre-digger uh, just subscribed. Even though I think it's supposed to be like the predator. Thank you very much. Also, potato Saint Basil's freaking cathedral. Well, here's the problem with Saint Basil Basil's cathedral. Um, so uh, here's the problem with Saint Basil's cathedral. It's all the way over here. We're making our way towards it. But, or it's all the way over here. But remember, it costs 920 production, right? The best place that I could possibly build it is in my capital. My capital has 20 production. So the only way we're getting ba great uh, St. Basil's Cathedral is if we can save up enough faith to purchase a great engineer. Again, that's why we need more faith. To purchase a great engineer to instantaneously build it. So that's the only way we're getting it because our production is just way too low to, uh, to hard build it. So it is on my mind. Don't like I'm going that direction. I'm on theology, which is one of the prerequisite texts. You know what I mean? Like we're we're on the way there. So just calm down, chat. Um, so I feel like monuments here because I can get them at twice speed are pretty good moves. As is ancient walls, and I want to get this encampment up just so I'm a little bit more protected from this angle. Even though this is the angle that's really dangerous. Finishing this encampment will make this a more viable city for sending trade routes to as well. Um, I could also just go for another settler. Going for another settler is also a good move. The monument is four turns, and it would give me a decent amount of culture. I think we grab the monument. We need to start ramping up our generation of culture. Yeah, and the other oh, please sell silk. That's a good point. Thank you for reminding me that. I usually really, I usually do sell those. Um, silk. You will give me six gold per turn. Six gold per turn translates to roughly this much gold plus like two gold per turn. Okay. I'm going to sell all my luxuries actually. You'll only pay me four gold. I want to get at least five gold for my luxuries. You're not willing to trade that. Give me one gold. So it looks like you already have a copy of that. What about salt? It'd give me 10 gold per turn for salt. So that's easily 230 gold plus like 5 gold. 4 or 5. What if I shave a few points off this? Really? Really? Ten gold for turn. Would you give me like two two thirty? And one gold per turn. So you'll give me two hundred and thirty seven gold for my salt deal. Um what about whales? It'll be four gold per turn for whales, that's not enough. I don't need these luxuries, they don't do that much for me. Okay, you would pay easily 11 gold per turn, so you'll give me all of this, plus 6 gold per turn, roughly. I'll probably have to round that down a little bit to 5. Yep, there we go. And Catherine. 
You want some silk? You pay me seven gold per turn, which is roughly all of this gold, plus like one or two gold. So seven gold should translate to, uh, it's how they value it is seven times 25. So it should, this should translate to about 175 gold. So if I go to 150, they'll give me one gold per turn. Okay, it's not translating very well. Whatever, I'll take it. Um, all right, so we sold all our luxuries. That might seem like a bad move, but that's a thousand gold. And that thousand gold can be used to purchase things. So the question is, what do we purchase with this? We could get ourselves up to a meeting house. Uh, I could purchase the shrine and the temple. That would be about collectively, say, 800 gold. Uh, and then I could faith purchase the meeting house. That would be 800 gold and 400 faith for essentially plus eight faith plus nine faith per turn and two production. Or I could purchase the amphitheater and get more great rider points and eventually more slots. Right now, I don't think I'm under great pressure to get my great riders out. What type of victory are you planning for? Either a diplomatic or cultural victory. How many more cities do you think you're realistically setting in your tontastic empire? I'm not sure. Probably maybe four to five. Four to five more cities, I think, would be a... Yeah, four to five more cities in here um, would be a good bet. A good, a good guess. So we have some choices that we can do. I feel like getting the meeting house here is going to really help out with making up for this. And the faith generation will pay for itself in... Let me see. What is it? It's... Um, we go, go to calculator. We take out our calculator. We divide 480 by 9. So this will pay itself off in 50 turns if I do this in terms of faith. And nobody has any great engineer things out yet. So I think this will pay itself off in time to do this. I could have purchased a settler as well, but... I think getting this up is going to be really, really nice, because now we're making 21 faith per turn in here. We're going to choose a civic. Um, so I want to get to monarchy. I'm going to pick up defensive tactics. Want to buy a settler in Magnus City? Because we can just build our settlers. Uh, the faith generation is really hard to get to. Like, we can... We, 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 we don't want to buy a settler because we have a card slotted in that gives us a 50% production boost to settlers. If we had a card slotted in that gave us a 50% uh, or or a 33% production discount on or, or gold discount on settlers, then yeah, we would buy it. But right now, in terms of allocating my empire's resources, it's more efficient to just build the settler. And spend my gold elsewhere because I have a I have a boost towards it. So now what will pay off more in the long term? I think very clearly the settler will pay off more in the long term. But there is something to be said to getting those great rider points up sooner. God. I hate playing against Russia. It puts such a huge clock. Puts such a huge clock on your culture game. So let's make some considerations here. If we got the city, the city would be out and producing and being more useful sooner. It would be eight turns sooner before we get the city. Or we could go for the culture building and get all this other stuff in here that little bit quicker. I think I think we go for the amphitheater here. Normally, I this would be a very easy choice if Russia wasn't in the game. Because clearly I go for the amphitheater and just get my great rider sooner. Um, but because Russia's in the game, it makes that choice a little bit harder. Because getting settlers out is really important. Also because our cities suck. I think, I think I'm going to go for the amphitheater. Because I have the plus two production from Mexico City in here, so I think using my bonuses. What is the bonus of Russia? When Russia builds holy sites, they get great writer points, great artist points, and great musician points. And what that means is Russia will always go for a religion. Russia will always take um, a lot of holy sites. And then Russia will naturally, because they have a lot of great people, just go towards a culture victory, which means they're competing with you for all of these great people. As you can see, we're turn 95 and Russia has earned one, 
two, three, at least three of these great writers are Rush are Russia's. So Russia is already generating um, 12 culture and 12 tourism. I can't remember how much great writings keep give off the top of my head, but basically they're getting a lot. <clears throat> what about going into war with France in the mid game? You can buy units with faith later. Going to war with France is an idea. Um, the problem is I'm making nine signs per turn. I live on Tundra. France is making 36 signs per turn and they live on productive land. So France currently has um, nearly four times my army size uh, and a huge tech lead. So going to war later requires a huge investment of resources now and continuously that I could be investing towards my victory condition. So that's kind of where, where I'm at. So this settler, I'm, I'm really considering here and then leaving room for a um, national park here. Really considering this tile right there. Because that this tile, this tile right here, will be able to get a national park here as well. So I want to try and settle to get two national parks and it'll be in range of this. So I think for, for all of those reasons, we're going to settle right here. And uh, you're chopping that. I want to chop... Oh, I wanted to... Oh, no, no, no. Part of the reason why I was picking a settler in here is because I plan to chop out that settler with this forest. Right. No, that makes sense. Yes, because I have this forest owned by this city. I could chop here and then place a, a theater square there. Yes, 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 yes. But you're wicked smart. Uh, what do you think... It, do you think Russia got better with Gathering Storm? Not really. Um, uh, there are some things that help them out in Gathering Storm that makes them a little bit better. I'm not the best at Civ, but I tried to culture win with Canada Emperor and I couldn't keep up. Don't worry about it, dude. Um, this is the first time I've played this Civ, so it's entirely possible that I will lose this game. Uh, like, just easily lose and like just not get anywhere with it. Um, that's what usually happens in my first game in a Civ. Damn it, you cock-blocked me. So there's a big religious war going on here that I want to participate in. We're going to chop here, finish the settler, hopefully, with the chop. Yeah, just about. You're going to take that tile back and place a theater square on it. But you're going to finish the government plaza over here. We completed the monument. So what I need now is a decent number of builders, because I have a lot of tiles in my empire. That would be better if they were improved. I feel like culture uh, got much harder in Gathering Storm. I think it got more interesting. Um, and it takes a little bit longer. It takes a little bit more skill to do a, uh, a, a culture win in the way I used to do them. It's a, it, I'd say it's a little bit tougher. So France's disposition towards me is really, really important. Um, I'm going to go ahead and... They won't take a delegation. I really need them to be friends with me. So I'm, I'd am i love to give them a gift of some kind. I don't need this. But this, I don't need my diplomatic favor. Would this actually improve my relationship with them a little bit? It did. Okay, so hopefully they will flip to neutral with me. And then flip to friendly. And then I can get a friendship with France. If I can get a friendship with France, then I'm completely safe. And I don't have to worry about military at all. The whole game, if I can get a friendship with France. And that means I can basically ignore any outside threats and just focus 100% on internal um, decision making. Okay. So in Hamilton, we got all the basic stuff. Now that we can get walls in six turns, I really do need a builder. To improve this mine. Alternatively, I could build a settler in here. Sorry, I was looking at St. John. Whoops, I had the wrong city clicked. Oops. We could get a settler in 22 turns. We could get the granary in six. I think while we have the 100% production bonus, we're going to take advantage of it. I'm also going to be building ancient walls everywhere with that 100% production bonus. First, I want to make sure I plug in the um, defensive tactics bonus, which is why I'm unlocking it. So hopefully we'll get that in time. There's about 20 turns. 
We'll have eight turns to build walls. So that should sync up nicely. Get those ancient walls for basically nothing. Role playing is kind of like using your direct neighbor as your military. Hell yeah, well, but uh, it's not the worst thing you lose watching you prevent this from happening as entertainment. You learn a lot from you. Rock bands feel really strong. Rock bands are incredible. Incredibly strong. Your delegation is most welcome. There's a big religious war going on. I don't mind them just burning their faith for no reason. So in Winnipeg, water mill straight away. Growth and production. So we finished another settler in here. I want to settle close enough to place one of my ice hockey rings over here. Big, 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 big problem for this city is I think I'm eventually going to have to get rid of this silk and put a national park in here and then put the ice hockey ring here, which means no national park here. Which I think is fine. We miss out on the, on the geothermal vents. They're like... I don't remember where geothermal vents are. Let me look them up. Uh, geo... Plus one science, plus two production. These are pretty good. They unlock really late in the game, though. Turns these into monster tiles. Uh. How important is the ice hockey ring for me? I can miss it. I can miss one city. No, I, can, I can live with this city not having an ice hockey ring if I get a geothermal vent in exchange. So that's what we're going to make. Add one rock band, give 12,500 tourism. How do you have 100% production for city center buildings? It's from the World Congress. Uh, the World Congress is giving me the Urban Development Treaty, which was 100% production towards buildings in the city center. Which is really helping me out right now. So now I want to go for the amphitheater. I got the settler out. We have this city making a settler in 20 turns. I'm going to need to send some of my scant few military units. I really want to settle around here too. I want to settle right there. But I'll need a governor title to settle right there. Let's park you there. Let's bring you down south to look after this guy. I'm going to bring you down south as well. So I think the best place for me to settle is... Uh, Best place for me to settle for this next city is, in theory, if I wanted to maximize the value that I got from this entertainment complex, I would settle here, and then I would settle here, and then both of these cities can build ice hockey rings around this entertainment complex. However, this blocks a really good national park settling here. So I think I'm going to sacrifice the most efficiency and just go ahead and settle on fresh water. I don't want to, I want to make sure I settle here. Which means I think I opt to, I can't settle here because that would block me from putting this ice hockey ring down. Because you, cities can't swap their inner tiles. Been gone an hour, where are we at? We are at turn... 99, and we're doing a lot of talking, a lot of thinking. I'm thinking of moving the settler. I really want to settle here, which will block this tile, which sucks. But I can always settle the snow hill, which is far from great. But I think this is the tile we settle. And we can pin another ice hockey ring. So I'm making sure I put pins down so I don't forget where I want to add. Because especially when you're playing for a culture game that involves a lot of these things, you have to think ahead a lot. Um, or you'll end up placing districts in optimal spots. Like, this is a really good spot for a district, but it's also a really good spot for a national park. And if you take up all the good spots where you want to place things um, that also block your national parks, you'll end up with a like a really good empire that could produce like a lot of national parks, but with nowhere to place those national parks. So that's why I'm trying to be very, very careful here. This should be a city center icon. There's definitely going to be um, a national park here and here. And then there's going to be another one on these tiles.
like so. And I'm not putting them on the mountains because it's just unnecessary because I, I can figure out by the shapes where I want to put them. So I want to put one here. I want to put one here. Potentially more can go in here, but I'll need these. I'll need at least some lumber mills to try to have productive tiles in the late game. Send the delegation to France. Oh, her relationship flipped to friendly because I gave her some diplomatic favor. This is really important. If we can get France to be friendly. God, if we can get a friendship with France. It means we are so safe. But we've been going for about an hour now in this uh, recorded. Again, I'm, I'm just going to put... I, we're, we're still live streaming for people that are watching live. But I'm just going to put in an end to the video because I'm going to be chopping this up into a live stream VOD for people on YouTube. And they always get... They always give me like really weird comments like it's really weird when the live stream just ends without Potato giving an outro because I'm so used to giving an outro. And so I said, for the sake of my beautiful, lovely... YouTube audience, I'll put little outros in. So I'm going to call this the end of the YouTube VOD episode. So I want to thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you guys are enjoying this series so far. You can catch me live at twitch.tv forward slash potato book whiskey if you want to watch these live instead of watching the VOD. And uh, I love you all very much. And I'll see you later. Bye bye.